So coincidentally, uh, Mike and I had our first nightcap episode three years and a few weeks ago. Yep. Approximately. Yes. But uh, I thought it was really cool, Matt, that today you posted on your Facebook feed that you I posted did. a picture of your wife, actually. Yeah, and she's smoking hot in that photo. I was pretty happy with she's it. She's smoking hot in the photo. I agree. Uh, but Agreed. the reason you posted that picture, let me, let me just say what the caption was for that picture. Okay. The caption for the picture today that he posted was the day that changed... The day that it, the day that it changed, changed everything, everything, everything. Right? Yes, yes. The day that changed everything. Yes, but, but I did listen, say that. You said the day that changed everything, and yeah. it happened to be at a Land Geek boot camp. So of talk course. to us a little bit more about why you posted that today. Okay. And what that means, because to me that's Ooh, huge. that's like <clears throat> digging deep here. Here we go in the digging sweats deep. in the sweatsito tracksuit business. Um, so it came across my feed this morning as I was working and I was like, wow, that really was, that was the boot camp. It wasn't my first boot camp. It wasn't my second boot camp. It was my third boot camp. Okay. We were in Arizona and I think that was, that was the Arizona boot camp. My wife's looking at me like you're an idiot, which is every day. So, you know, it's hard to distinguish, but that was the boot camp where we felt like we knew what we were doing. Right. And when the business was starting to actually go. Right. And so I saw that was like that really that was the boot camp that changed everything. So we went to the first boot camp um, and we were in flight school and we got it and it works. And we're like, OK, it works. I mean, if that guy can do it, if that guy can do it, I mean, for for damn sure I can do it. Right. And so we did it. We went through flight school. We were successful. We bought some lots. That was back when it was easier to buy property and harder to sell. And that's inverted in the last you know year. Um, but that's the boot camp where we were in coaching and we knew all the answers. And the coach was like, well, hey, what about this? And we're like, oh, my God, I actually know I've done that. Um, and so that, I think, is the inflection point for us where we knew what we were doing. We had confidence and we started to attack the business. And if you watch Nightcap ever, I will always say, don't quit. All you got to do is not quit. I mean, that's it. I'm a six foot eight, 350 pound idiot in a track suit. And I'm, you know, we are well over 10 K it's working for us. Literally it's changing our life for real. Not, you know, not for some idiotic podcast. My life has changed. My kids are going to the school that I want. My credit card debt is in check, right? My life has changed as a result. And I think, Although it started before that, right? That's really the inflection point where we, where it really started to click for us. And that was three years ago, literally today. It was this weekend, three years ago. Crazy. I love, I love how you say get out of your own way because that's a big part of it, right? I mean, we have some preconceived notions about how we're gonna go about things and there's actually a defined process that works, right? But you have to get out of your own way, don't you? You, you just, you gotta go do it. And it's hard, like it's not easy, no one's, saying it's easy, or at least I'm not saying it's easy. It's really, really hard. Right. This business is not, it's not simple. You got to go do stuff you're not used to doing. You got to go hire virtual assistants. You got to just take the plunge and go do it. But we were uh, in Boston and I'm not going to lie. We have been um, <clears throat> having cocktails since one o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> so we were commiserating and we were talking about, you know, these two knuckle faces and, and Mark Podolsky, who's the godfather. And we were talking about, hey, what, what brought me in? Because I, I'm not Mike Zeno. I mean, you're like a legend. And Bosman, you're a legend. I'm just some six foot eight idiot in a tracksuit. And it was like, what brought me in? I heard a podcast from Mark. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, that's really interesting. And we're driving up to Boston. And I said to my wife, this is the spot where I heard you talk to Podolsky. I said, this is the spot where I knew this was right. It was on the highway. I was going to Logan Airport for my job. Right. And three, four years later, like literally my life has changed. It's hard work. It sucks. It's not simple. You got to get out of your comfort zone. It's all these really hard things. If it were easy, everybody would do it because it works a hundred percent of the time it works. And all of a sudden, you know, two years in, it started to work. And now that I'm three years in, like, hello. Hello. Now, now my friends go from like, oh, land, har harumph, harumph. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? I just crushed your retirement. Oh, what's up? And I didn't do any work. What do you say to someone who's, say, six months into the business and they're, having, they're hitting their first big block, the big wall? Just they want to just cash their chips and say, you know, no, no. a lot of work, man. I didn't think it was going to be this much work. 
I'm not even sure if it works for me. I, I you just trust me, literally trust me. I know I'm in a tracksuit. I get it. <laughs> I know I look Baloo like an idiot. I get it. I'm an idiot. It works. It works a hundred percent of the time. Do not quit. Keep going. Scott Todd says, keep moving your feet. All I say is just keep going. If you quit, it's over. When I did the research on land, what I kept finding, oh, bigger pockets over and over and over again was people who went, well, yeah, it works, but it wasn't for me. Right. And I'm like, oh, wait a second, hold on. You make a 500% return, you make a 700% return on your money, and it's not for you, and you admit it works? What it, oh, oh, is it hard? Is that what happened? Right. Was it too difficult? Because I'm in it for the long haul. And I'm telling you, if you're five months in, if you're six months in, do not quit. Keep going. Stick with the program. It works. It 100% works. It's hard, and you got to figure it out. And that's hard. Legitimately, it's hard. I wanted to quit, but I didn't. And I didn't. A big part of that is you two. A big part of that is Mark and the program I signed up for. Right. But, like, don't quit. It changes lives. No joke. It changes lives. It can change your life, too. Do not quit. Like, I want to go punch you in the face if you quit. I couldn't say it better myself. Was that too much? Well, I'm not going to punch anybody. I think I'll punch people. I'm 6'8", uh, man. I will body slam you if you quit. I will come to your house. So I will find you, question. and I will kill you. <laughs> that's here's wrong. A, here's the thing. You, uh, Cocktail. If you... Hey, if, if you okay, so here's the thing also. Like you talk a lot about and not you talk a lot about not quitting. Yeah, don't do and that. And a lot of people, and right now especially, there are a lot of people in a dip, right? They have a yeah, hard, it's they're changed. They're having they're having a hard time buying yeah. property. Yep. They're having a hard time selling property because of whatever marketing platform that we're using right now. But in those instances, you just have to pivot. Just right? change. Yeah, you. But you said something that was wrong. What's that? Look, I know something you don't know. <laughs> you said it's hard to sell property. It's not. It's hard to oh, market property. I would. It's hard yes. to market. It's. It is. I would totally. Yes. I would totally agree. It's not hard to sell property. It's hard to market. Property. It's hard to market it. Yeah. Hard to be consistent when you're trying to do it yourself. Yes. Oh. Day in and day out. Oh my God! Yeah. Listen. Right? I mean, look at it. if you try to do everything yourself, you're gonna burn out. Um, a solution to that, isn't there? Uh, yeah. It's called Mark's program. Um, listen, if you're doing the business, you're going to get burned out. You're not in the land business, man. You were never in the land. Did you think you were in the land business? Is that what you thought? Is that what you thought selling land was all about? You ain't in that. You're in the managing virtual assistance business. And I got to tell you, the second I realized that and I owned it and I stopped doing all the dumb work myself and I outsourced it, oh, baby, I wasn't in that business anymore. I was in the managing people business. And guess what? My salesperson rocks. I'm sure yes. she's not working right now. She sold three properties this so week. You get caught up doing a four dollar an hour job, right? Yeah, but that's really the good. That's the be legitimate uh, truth. That's the beauty of what we talk about. No one else in land really talks about this. Right. It's a you're not really in the land business. You're in the people outsourcing business. That's what you gotta do. How do you scale yourself? How do you scale your time? How do you scale your results? You can't go post an ad and be like, oh, it didn't work. Man,